the Texas winter storm is over. My power has been restored. I had a chance to do some more reading. I was reading about the KVM networking performance using the Vert IO network drivers. When you install a KVM to manage your virtual machines, um, by default, it's going to install the Realtek driver for your VMs. And I did a little testing and I was getting close to two megabits. Well, I'm sorry, two gigabits transfer speed from one host to another host on the same VLAN in the KVM. I'm going to show you two different servers. One's a CentOS stream server. Here's the configuration with the default Realtek driver. And it's on my VLAN 90. I also have a Alma Linux install and its default driver is also the Realtek driver. So we got Alma Linux on the top and we got CentOS Stream on the bottom. Okay, the IP for the Alma Linux box is 90.60. For the CentOS Stream box is 90.65. We're going to run iPerf, which is a program that'll test your transfer speeds. Basically, you have to tell one machine to be a server listening for requests on port 5201. You have to tell the other box to connect to the IP address or the name if it's in DNS. But when you run that test, it transfers some data and it gives you a, a bit rate in gigabits per second. As you can see right here, I'm getting about 1.8 gigabits per second using the Realtek driver. What I'm going to do is switch over to the Vert IO drivers. But you have to shut the VMs down to do that. So once the VMs are shut down, you can go into their properties and change the virtual network interface to vert IO. Apply the changes and close it. Start that back up. And you do the same on the other box. Change it from Realtek to the vert IO driver. Apply and close. Now the CentOS box has a GUI on it, so it takes a little bit longer to load up. And I'm connecting to the consoles from the KVM machine. Now, when you install a Linux virtual machine under KVM, it's going to automatically install a package called QEMU Guest Agent. That agent should be running 
as you can see here, it's active and running on this machine. If for some reason the agent is not installed on your VM, you'll have to manually install that package. You can see it's also running on the CentOS box. So I've got the agent running on both boxes. I've changed the network driver to the vert IO. And I'm going to go back and run that same speed test again. And you can see it's much, much faster. It's about 20 times faster. And remember, these are two VMs that are running on the same KVM host. Now, if you have a VM on another host, um, your speeds are going to be dependent upon the network switch that's connecting the two. But when you're running on the same host, the two virtual machines are using a virtual network switch, so it's much faster. And I did a little looking. Um, if you go to this link here, I'll add it to the notes there. You can actually download the vert IO drivers for your Windows VMs. So that'll speed up the connections there also. And that was very short and simple. It's just explaining how to use the Vert IO drivers with KVM virtual machines. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.